Spicy Toast Gaming here. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And today we're going to be checking out max level Nar and playing him into Galio. So level 30 with the three stars, that opens up the three rare relics. So we're doing Scourge of Stash, Plunder, I cost two less, trying to cheat Nar out a little bit earlier. Uh, you can get this off fairly consistent, uh, consistently. Dreadway Chase Gun, when I'm summoned, create two warning shots. That's this right here. Gnar is all about damaging the Nexus every round, so this really helps with that. And then the Bounty Hunters. Gnar is pretty weak, so being able to cheat him out early and then make him have bigger stats when we do get him on the board really helps out. All right, let's hop into a Galio adventure and see how we do. All right, in game now, let's see what we get for our first power. All right, Officer Backup, this can be um, pretty good. Honestly, both of these, but being able to attack in the first round, one, helps you get your Nexus damage off, but then it also enables us to try to get Gnar on the board because we can just attack with our unit without having to play someone, and we can play Gnar in the very first turn. Uh, so we'll grab this. It works out pretty well. Let's go take on the Dauntless Vanguard. Man, it has been a while since I have uh, done a Galio run, especially one that I've recorded. <laughs> Alright, great, so we have Gnar on the board. Sadly, we did not start with the attack token. Alright, we'll play the Tusk Speaker, get our Nexus damage. Since they didn't play anything, we'll just open attack and get a good amount of damage down. Huh, I wonder, so this would give them, that'd be extra 4 damage, 6 damage. We do have a pokey stick. I think I actually might just do this. So they have two damage left, and we have a pokey stick, so we can finish them off next turn instead of getting Gnar on the board. This is one of the great aspects of Gnar. They're able to just be so aggressive. Now, sadly, they're going to be able to heal a little bit there. The stun won't really change that at all. So, almost could have ended the game. But, now we'll play Gnar. Aww, don't do that. And we'll just finish them off with the warning shots. Right, I think I'll go for the mini T here. Honestly, all of these are pretty rough. Support champion. I think I'll go with uh, Caitlyn since we already have the other Sting officer. Although Rek'Sai is not bad. Huh, Poro Fluffet. That is interesting and probably not going to be helpful. Yeah, I think I'll actually go for Rek'Sai. Scribe of Sorrows or a gold chest. So I think I'll actually go for the gold chest. Scribe can be very good, but because we have bounty hunters, we actually want to hold on to our gold more. Because that's going to increase uh, Gnar. But Scribe can be pretty good. Uh, get rid of some of these. Nice to have our Tusk Speaker in our opening hand. Sadly, another round where we don't start with the attack token. So normally you only want to play Tusk Speaker either to trigger uh, Plunder or on your off turn where you can't attack since you can still get that Nexus damage down. On foot. Bring the spirits. Chase the glory. I sculpt what others so only good amount of damage and we have our Gnar on the board. Oh, game freaked out there for a second. Now we're just going to set up to win in our next attack. Alright, let's miss some folks up. Alright, let's stun him so we can't get a scout attack off. Let's get our one damage for the round for their nexus. Um, 
block here. Buff this unit up. With Gnar, you want all of your units to stay on the board so they can keep getting that stacking impact. Here we'll open attack before they can uh, play anything. We already have enough damage, but we have a lot of extra ways to push more damage uh, if they try to play anything. Alright, nice. Alright, so making our cost one less or getting our Poke Stick two more damage. Uh, so, cost reduction on Gnar and getting more copies is very good. But honestly, while Gnar is great, our deck is pretty strong. I think two extra damage on Pokey Stick is going to be better. But yeah, this is very good as well. Normally getting more copies of your champion like that would be great. And it would be great for us as well. Uh, but I just think the extra Pokey Stick damage is gonna be a little bit more versatile. We'll re-roll some of these. Again, not starting with the attack token. That's really bad for us. Because we'd be able to dominate the game so much more if we were able to open attack. Alright, I think we will just... We'll wait to see what they do, but potentially we're just going to pokey stick and kill that right away. My flutter friends oh. are so well, that's what we should have done, but now we won't be able to. Sad. I bring music and war. Yeah, we're not going to bother blocking there. Alright, so here we're going to open attack so we don't just get immediately stunned by Crescent Strike. Always good to see what Zoe has in hand. They'll never see these coming. So there we attacked with both. We knew one of them was going to die. And we're going to play the Protoporo just so we have another unit getting the stacking impact. Gnar really does have a very unique playstyle. He's actually one of my favorite champions because of that. Alright, we're gonna try to use a wall up to kill her. Alright, not too surprising. We'll just use this uh, instead. So we will actually play this here. One will have another ephemeral blocker, but then we'll have another unit that can get that impact. Ah, oh, that's sad. here. We're just going to attack. We have ways to push, again, a bunch more damage. We're going to see what they do. Alright, so sadly that will work to stun him. Goodness, the game's really struggling today. But, good thing we got that pokey stick with extra damage. Very nice. So, Gnar will quite often have Overwhelm in his other form, so we won't get that here. We'll go for the Dragon Tooth for uh, more damage and scaling. Alright, we are creating a decent amount of cards, so we'll go for the Wild Inspiration. 
And let's go for the item chest. Alright, we'll get rid of one version of Gnar. The rest of the cards are pretty good. While Gnar is relatively weak at the low levels, and definitely the most difficult of the Freljord champions, I would say he's probably the best Freljord champion. Probably by like a mile. Uh, once he gets maxed out. Because both of the other Freljord champions are just so slow. Here we're just open attacking before they can play anything. So we could play Gnar here. We're going to play the Tusk Speaker first. Just in case they have some crazy spell or something to kill him. So pretty full board, all of this is going to get the stacking impact now, very nice. And again now, all we're doing is trying to set up for our win next turn. Alright, little unfortunate, but probably fine in the long run. Oh, I thought this wall was another Gnar. Alright, damage their Nexus, get our Teeny Dactyl on the board. Huh. Alright, I guess. So we still should be, uh, should be good. <laughs> oh, they have so many spells. All right, so we don't want the, her to grant the other unit uh, more stats by attacking. So we're just gonna stun it to make sure it can't attack and get buffed up more. Yeah, I'm just going to take the damage, I think. Alright, here we're just going to attack. We saw how many annoying spells they would have. And we don't want to deal with that again. So let's drag their uh, lifesteal unit all the way to the end. So that the Nexus should be dead before they have a chance to do anything. Alright, we still would be able to win, but we have a lot of extra damage we could push uh, if we needed to. Yeah, Nar's deck is a very interesting... I think we'll go for Call of the Pack. We're probably actually going to get rid of this card. But we'll get that for now. He's a very interesting mix of aggro and control. Alright, Protoporo, not bad, but normally we want our units to survive. I think just getting more Pokey Sticks and having them cost less will be fine. I will. I'll reroll this. Feebling Strike, pretty good. And I'll get this just to get. Uh, one more item on our unit. So we'll go for the item chest, although the gold chest wouldn't be bad since we have bounty hunters. Pretty decent opening hand. We will actually get rid of some of these, though. We start with the attack token for once. That's pretty great. So we're just going to immediately attack, and now we can play Gnar. So I think we might overcap on cards, so I'm going to play one warning shot.
Although I guess we're not making the wall, we're reducing its cost. We probably would have been fine, but still not bad to do. Alright, we're going to use Rek'Sai to get rid of their uh, Mountain Goat. We don't want him killing our Sting Officer. They say these were from the Protector himself. And we'll use the Warning Shot just to deal our one damage to their Nexus. Let's attack and just push as much damage as we can. So we're going to use the wall up to stun this unit so essentially we get a free attack. And we'll use the primal strength to just push more damage on their nexus. So they only have three health left. We'll be able to kill them with a pokey stick next turn. We look after our own. Stand back. <clears throat> oh, that's I see the heavens of flame, God's burning in starfire. A bit annoying that they did that. Uh, we'll still start off with a pokey stick. We're all family here. Pokey, pokey. I've got this. All right, let's use this just to kill their one unit so he doesn't heal their nexus again next turn. And then he generated a pokey stick, and we can end the Nexus. Very nice. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can go with this. It's kind of funny to get two summoning stones on it. So this actually will be bad, because we can end up reducing its cost down to zero, and then it doesn't actually summon anything. Uh, so, not the best. Spirit Stone for the Protopore, not bad. I think I'm actually going to use a one reroll here. Okay. <laughs> All of these are actually... are pretty good. I think I like having Tusk Speakers at the start of the game, though. Especially when we don't start with the attack token, which has been most of the matches so far. Alright, the Chief, normally we're not playing it. Alright, so we know we're going to draw this, we'll get rid of that. So we're never really going to use Call the Pack as really a Lurker card. We're just going to use it to summon champions. Does death follow me or peace? Um, we're still going to use Tusk Speaker, actually. We want to get that damage on the enemy Nexus. Also, he'll be able to block... We'll use this. Interesting. <laughs> right, I think we should just attack. I don't really want to give them an opportunity to play anything. One of the Akshans will probably die, but that's fine. Alright, at least we're getting that out, out of their hand uh, earlier. And they're not using it against us later. So we'll play these units, get uh, more units with the stacking impact. So that's going to take four. Yeah, this won't quite be able to save them. <laughs> uh, 
I think I might just use this again and see who we get. It might just be more auctions to count down our Warlord's Palace. Alright, not bad. Although I don't think we damaged the Nexus this turn, so that's a little sad. Honestly, I don't really care about Seraphine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll play the, the Lurker. We can go fishing for... Well, hoping for Gnar, but oh well. So they're about to play Viego, so that's not great. We want to try to do as much damage as we can here. Let's use the free wall wallop, get rid of his spell shield. Yeah, let's go for a little bit more damage. If we get another pokey stick, we win. Actually, going to grant all of our units one more, and we will try to end the game <laughs> with this. All right, nice. That's one of the other great things about Nar is uh, normally I might actually get this. Well, sure, we'll just go for the stud leather. While he is very strong and great to have, especially. When he's maxed out and has all these relics, you can still normally win without him. Alright, I think I'm gonna go for Nature's Revenge. So we can always have a unit to challenge and draw their blockers away. And we'll go for the champion item chest. Alright, double pokey stick, not bad. We'll get rid of these two cards. Man, now it's really scaling up. <laughs> so when they attack, they summon a Frenzied Skitterer. Uh, so I don't actually want them to attack, so I think I'm just going to kill their unit here, since they shouldn't have mana to play anything else. So normally we just open attack and then summon Gnar, but since we have the mana, I'm actually going to play a Pokey Stick to damage it first and then be able to play uh, Gnar. Alright, so here I, mm, I don't want them to be able to block. They're probably going to have more mana to play other cards, but we're going to try... Well... So yeah, sadly, Nar doesn't have Overwhelm. So they're going to be able to block him, which is a little sad, but... Not really anything we can do about it. Alright, that is unfortunate. We use the pokey stick that we generated. Also, we don't want to run, uh, start burning our cards, so we're going to use our other warning shot.
One bad thing is, oh, I forgot that they, uh, I forgot that they did that. So I'm gonna play Nar, and then I'm gonna play a Pokey Stick to get another Nar. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I played that because I figured he was going to make another one. Alright, so their spiderlings are annoying, but they're out of cards, so we can just outlast them at this point. So we're just going to attack. We should have more than enough damage to just be able to end the game right here. Please, I have connections. Yep, we're good. Right, I think getting more copies of Primal Strength would be pretty good. Normally, we're not going to use the Blunder effect, but it is a permanent buff, so maybe. Alright, let's get Nar some more damage. Sorcery, this is pretty great. You have a lot of spells on Nar, so being able to use that and never having to worry about banking your mana every round. Very, very nice. Uh, we'll buy one of these just for the item, and then we'll use our reroll to see what we get. I think this could be really good. You essentially play it for free. One, we don't only have a six cost spell, but it refills our mana. But then when it shuffles two more copies that cost one, we can play a bunch of cards and then use this to just freely refill our mana. So that'll be pretty nice. And we'll got we'll buy one of these at least to get just another item. Might as well. I think we're fine with that. Let's go with kill some Dawn Speakers. We know we're going to draw these, or this one. Defender, tomorrow we want to use this as early as possible. So, next round. Alright, so we know that they're going to kill the Sting Officer, which is going to be unfortunate, so... We could try to stop them, but we'll just play the Tusk Speaker here. We still might have... well... Sure, let's see what we get for... Champions. Uh, Jacks don't like to share. <laughs> They're always fighting over the relic or the equipment. Alright, we don't really want all of our units to die. So we'll just go like this. So I think this should completely pay for itself. Hopefully it refills all our mana and not just the three cost, but we'll see. All right, and we'll just use it again. Oh my word, and again. So now we have a bunch of copies of that spell that all cost one, so being able to... Oh, I guess they all, it's the only other six cost spell, so it's always gonna draw itself. That's pretty funny, I didn't even, didn't even think about that. Alright, so we'll have to attack Any takers? Um, first. Some of our units will die, but it's a price I'm willing <laughs> to take. Uh, 
All right, so we're going to stun this unit since he is overwhelmed and his attack will still go through. I think we'll actually save this for next turn. We might need the, the extra blocker. Be strong. These are dark times. All right, let's miss some folks up. All right, I don't want to take too much more. Nexus damage. So let's just play some of these proactively. Let's stun that unit and kill that one. We're going to play the hatchling if we can. Well, they we just want to end the round. I guess we'll play Teeny Dactyl to get a nice heal. Let's get rid of some of these cards. So we're going to go for our normal combo of grabbing someone who's vulnerable and then stunning them. Let's also buff up all of our units. And even just going a little overkill here. Let's go for more Poke Sticks. Right, is there any card we want to cut? I think I'm actually going to cut Call of the Pack, even though it has so many items on it. It just really doesn't mesh well with our playstyle. It's not that enjoyable. Some people might really have fun with this. It's not that fun to me, so I'm just going to uh, cut it. With Gnar, since you have such a specific playstyle, certain cards just don't really mesh well. So we could open attack and try to get Gnar on the board, um, but since we have the extra spell mana, I'm going to try to use a Pokey Stick here so Gnar can actually attack and help out this turn. Normally, if you can get your plunder effect off first, that's what you want to do before you attack. Alright, let's go like this, getting a good amount of damage down. Let's actually just keep damaging the Nexus and buffing up our top deck. Uh, I actually think I'm going to buff up our Sting Officer so he's not as likely to die. Alright, not bad. We wear red to honor the fallen. Uh, we'll, we'll just play the Tusk Speaker here. I was thinking about Rek'Sai. The problem with Rek'Sai, she gets recalled at the end of the round, and so that doesn't really help us. We want our units to be on the board if possible. Alright, we're just going to go for the kill. So we're going to drag Siobhan to the side. Oh, I guess she's the one who's vulnerable. So we'll drag this unit over here, 
grab Shivana. That pillar is really messing with us, but we're going to use our wallop to stun her and push a whole bunch of damage on their nexus. And it looks like they have nothing that they can do. Perfect. Alright, so that was quite a lot of fun. Yeah, if you are able to get any of the Frelior champions up to max, Nar is definitely the best Frelior champion by far. Now, if you don't have the time to invest in getting someone to max, then Ash is still better earlier. As you get stronger and stronger, Nar really starts to just dominate. I would say max level Nar with the three stars, he's probably in like the A tier. He's he's quite quite strong, very aggressive. You still have a lot of control and ways to protect all of your units with all of your um, spells to buff them up, even if it's just for the round. So quite a lot, a lot of fun. Definitely try him out, especially if you're struggling to find a good Frelior champion. He is difficult early, but he really pays off if you put time uh, to leveling him up and learning his playstyle. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.